Hi, I'm Nikki and I'm here with Michaela, and we did an analysis over the seated scribe, otherwise known as a squatting scribe. The seated scribe is originally from Egypt, Saqqara. The artist of this piece is Egyptian. It is from a 6,000 years of recorded history. It's one of the earliest centralizations. It was part of the 2030 to 1640 BCE. It was part of Middle Destiny, which was whenever Tobian King Nepetre Mentukit II reunites the upper and lower of Egypt. It was part of the established capital at Tobias and ushering in the Middle Kingdom. The swin flowering of artists are evident. In Mentu Hotepis, innovative funerary temple, it was in the western Tobias. In this piece, painted reliefs such as this was decorated in the structure and the tombs of officials and the surrounding cemeteries. Its creation date was 2620 to 2500 BCE. The piece is actually over a thousand years old and it's actually very small. It's 53.7 centimeters with a width of 44 centimeters and a depth of 35 centimeters. In uh, the conventional image of the seated scribe during the Old Kingdom in Egypt. According to the archaeologist August Marriott, who found the work, the statue of the scribe was apparently discovered in Saqqara on November 19th, 1850, to the north of the, the Serapumis line of sphinxes. Unfortunately, its historical context is unknown. Based on observations made by archaeologists, it comes from the 4th dynasty. His broad torso and chest support the theory of its dates of origin. Within this time, non-painted artifacts were thought to add abstract and timelessness. Then the painted ones were supposed to have lifelike qualities. Within this one, it has paint around the eyes so that it looks more realistic. The seated scribe's ultimate function is unknown, but a wide variety of theories have formed as a result of its discovery. Based upon his seated position, it is said that he is a scribe that will be assisting someone like a pharaoh in his afterlife. It is very unusual that a scribe has a sculpture made of them. So the scribe depicted definitely was important in this time. He was originally holding a writing instrument called a reed brush. A reed brush was slash is something used to write down the things the scribe is ordered to. This writing instrument is actually no longer there with the papyrus scroll which was is actually a type of paper that almost every Egyptian had and used to write things down or create drawings. The seated scribe is a beautifully sculpted portraiture of what seemed to be a scribe during Egypt's old kingdom. Its excavation notes were lost and not very accurate. One very highly anticipated hypothesis about its creation was the fact that it accompanied someone in the royal family in its afterlife, more specifically an authority figure named Kai. A scribe is different from most servants because they have ability to read and write. By this figure being placed of royalty shows a great deal of its everlasting importance in society. Most of these servants were very poor and were illiterate. The cedar scribe will always remain an important part of Egyptian history because it was a beautiful work of art. Something about the seated scribe is it's not a pharaoh. It has a sagging chest and a realistic body rather than idealistic features reserved for a pharaoh. And it contrasts ideally portrayed pharaoh, which this seated scribe is a rather small sculpture that was created from limestone. Limestone was originally painted with lavish colors that faded over time. The face of the seated scribe is attentive because it looks well alerted and is always paying attention. The figure is dressed in a white kilt that goes all the way down to its knees. In the time in which it was created, realistic features were rare, but the seated scribe has, has many intricate details that emphasize all of its fine details. 
For instance, the hands, fingers, and fingernails were depicted sculpted along with his broad chest. Last but not least, its eyes are portrayed in a way that emphasizes its attentiveness to its service. The papyrus and writing utensil also plays a role in the realism of the piece. And overall, the eyes just really add a lot of personality, just with the ability to almost glow and show some shine. It's not realistic as a barrel because his barrel would be like more unrealistic. He had more of a non-slim body, you could tell because like the way his chest was created and how his figure shape isn't so curved or shaped well. He wasn't muscular either but he did have the male structure which was having like a straighter like jawline and then his facial structures masculine compared to like the rest of his body.